So both Benjamin Itez then and Cooper McNeil are coming up against traffic and you can see that both Benjamin Itez and Cooper McNeil are trying to negotiate that traffic and the one that's done it best is Cooper McNeil who goes into P1. Well, that was just the way he overtook the backmarking cars. He has managed to put himself P1. Brilliant, opportunistic driving from Cooper McNeil, Mc Miguel. Yeah, exactly. It's what we said. Uh, it's really important to react uh, fast on, on traffic because uh, it's, uh, you can lose more than gain. So uh, uh, we'll see what's going on because we had seen that uh, Benjamin has a bit better pace than, than Cooper, but now he's in front. So uh, let's see if he can, uh, if, if they will start to fight uh, on track. Well, Cooper McNeil then disposed of the backmarking cars really very efficiently and has put himself ahead of Benjamin Itez. So Benjamin Itez, we know, has been quick then as they go through turn number one and climb uphill. Can Benjamin Itez, who's all very well being quicker than the car in front, you've still got to find a way by it, haven't you, Miguel? And Cooper will make that 488 perhaps a, 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 a few centimetres wider and you can see how uh -huh. frustrated Benjamin is. Yeah, exactly. Now he's, uh, he, he, was, uh, he was having a, a, a smooth race at the beginning and now uh, it's a bit more complicated, so he, he did a small mistake. Uh, let's see. Uh, like I said, I mean, I think uh, it is at more, a bit better play, pace than, than, than Cooper, so uh, we will see what's, what's, what's going to happen. But whilst we're enjoying the battle on track, inside the crash helmets of both of those drivers, there's a psychological battle going on. And at the moment, Cooper McNeil is P1 in that battle as well, isn't he? Yeah, for sure. What is clear is they are fighting for the championship and, uh, and Benjamin to catch up uh, Cooper has to finish in front so yes. uh, that's clear and uh, for sure he's gonna, gonna he's gonna fi uh, fight uh, until the end he is doing everything he can he's really harrying Cooper McNeil now so we can see also that uh, he lost uh, a bit of uh, oh, of, of <laughs> those sausage curbs he just took it as if he was in a Land Rover <laughs> yeah I mean he, he had the mistake in the se first sector but uh, he's already there in 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 the back of the of the car of Cooper, so like I said, uh, will be a nice nice finish of the race. This is exciting. Cooper McNeil, Benjamin Itez, then cross the timing line with well, look at that, just two tenths between them. So where can Benjamin Itez try and get Cooper McNeil to make a mistake? Because that's probably what is going to be needed. But Cooper generally he. He has made mistakes, but it's not common practice. And uh, Cooper McNeil, of course, knows that what he's doing is cementing his uh, P1 position in terms of the Drivers' Championship by being ahead of the man that beat him in qualifying, Benjamin Itez, who led all of the race up until the backmarking cars that needed to be got past. And Cooper just did a better job of doing that than Benjamin Itez and put himself in P1. So, but Benjamin Itez is staying absolutely with him here.